Yes. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Tip Tuesday. I gave Josh the week off last week after I've harassed him multiple weeks. I'm back again, bud. Yeah, that's good though, because I needed the week. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had lots and lots and lots of questions about tires, tire pressure, tire wear, all things and everything tire, which is really important because that's literally where the rubber meets the road and right. it's probably one of the main safety things when you're going down the road. You can't it, go down the road without it. Right, right. So what I thought, I'm just going to step out of the way. I'm going to let Josh talk about correct pressure, maybe even talk about our tire pressure monitoring system, which is what I use to make life easy, and then just some common things to look for. Sound yeah. good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I guess some of the things I would explain first is the probably the most common question is how much air do I put in my tire? And on the trailers now, uh, it's it's stamped underneath the VIN tag. So you'll go right on there and it'll show you what size tires you have, what the air pressure should be. They're actually putting stickers on the entry doors now too, a yellow sticker on there to have that uh, same information on it. And that's what the manufacturer recommends. That's where you should run it. Most of the time it lines up with what the tire says on the sidewall. So if you can't find that sticker, if it's worn off, you can look at the tire. So cold pressure, you know, you don't want to run it down the road for a few hours and then inflate it. You want it to be cold and then inflate it where it needs to be. Uh, another common thing that I get a lot is if people start having some wear on their tires, uh, there's common problems that would cause some weird wear, inside wear, outside of the tires wearing. Uh, sometimes you'll get both of those that are wearing. The top three on this sheet, and this come out of the Keystone Owner's Manual right here. So you can read through your manual if you have a Keystone product. I'm sure the other manufacturers have this same stuff in there. But uneven wear, the most common things is either overinflation, underinflation, or they're, they're loading the trailer wrong. They maybe have too much stuff on one side causing that weight to be uneven, and then you'll get some different wear. You start getting some of these other ones on this, on this sheet, which I think we can maybe put this picture up. Uh, some cupping and flat spots. Now you're talking that axle problems or maybe the brakes are locking up and you, you may not realize it behind there. So good thing to look at. Biggest thing is your air pressure, which like you said, the, the tire pressure uh, monitor system that we sell here, that I would recommend that for everybody to put it on there. At least it's not going to prevent you from having a blowout or something, but you're going to know right away. It's going to help you prevent that additional damage if you do have it tire go sometimes without that monitoring system you could have a blowout and, and especially if your mirrors aren't extended enough you may not see it right and if you're out alone and there's not other cars around you you could go for miles on just the three wheels and that's just going to tear up everything as well it it's goes. it's a good reminder too because especially like it's part of my checklist when i'm leaving for my vacation and stuff or whenever i'm towing it somewhere check my tire pressure but sometimes when I'm leaving from my camp spot, it's not always on top of my mind. I'm thinking about putting all my other stuff away. Yes. Well, I have that monitoring system control sitting right there. So when I get in the truck, if I forgot that, I just grab that. I can quickly yeah, check it. Go. Especially if, like, you know, we go from Indiana to Gulf Shores a lot, and that temperature fluctuation, like, I'll drop air pressure, and I've got to remember to put that back yeah. up. So it's yeah. a nice reminder. Yeah, you, you want to keep the air where it needs to be in the tire to prevent that's the last thing you want. Halfway to Gulf Shores is to have the tire wearing on the outside. Now you're not going to feel safe the rest of the trip. Right. You're right. going to put your spare on, and now you're making the trip without a spare, which, I mean, you would have your other tire. But a couple other things on the tire, too. This is good information for people to, to, to know about their tire. Um, maybe it's getting a little too geeky, I guess. Um, no, no, it's, some of the nerdy information. Let's geek out. But there, all these numbers on the tires that you see around it, they all have meanings, and there are actually some uses that even you know just everybody can use every day. The tire size is the big one, which on this one it's a it's a two thirty five seventy five R fifteen. So this is going to tell you this two hundred twenty five is millimeters. So that's going to tell you how wide this tire is from mm -hmm. from uh, edge of tread to edge of tread. So the bigger the number, the wider that tire is going to be. This next number here is 75. This is going to be your uh, your height on your trailer here, or on your tire here. And then this last, this R means it's a radial tire, this 15, 15 inch rim. So that's gonna tell you, you know, roughly what you have on there now. The side, that sticker on the sides are gonna tell you that size, which coincidentally is telling you your rim size as well. So if you're gonna buy different rims to put on, um, you'll know what that is. 
There's another one that's probably a really important number for people to know, and right here, this DOT number, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little number that's etched in. Now this tire, it's on the back side of how it's mounted. So when this is on the trailer, you're gonna see this, this AQHH on the front side, on the outside. Uh -huh. You're not gonna see this little uh, number in here because it's only on one side of the tire okay. on this particular brand. But this one, if we read it real close, it says 3820. That means this tire was manufactured the 38th week of 2020. So if you're looking at tires to put on your trailer or if you're even looking at a trailer, maybe a used trailer that you're buying off somebody, you can check that number. And if that, you know, if that had said 15, we're in 21, that's a six year old tire. Probably gonna wanna change that. Tire, right. Trailer tires are only three to five years. Even if the tread looks good on it, it's probably still getting- Could be some-, some Structural uh, wear on it. Yeah, and you'll get some dry rot and it'll be hard to see sometimes. You, you get just real fine little cracks. But if somebody put tire dressing on it to make it shiny and look good, you know, you won't see those. Right. So good thing to do would be check the date. And okay. you know, if you have three to five year old tire, probably ought to put some new tires on it. Even if you own a trailer and you've had it four or five years, maybe you don't take very many trips, still time to replace that. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the year you decide, you know what, we're gonna go on a long trip with the camper and tires look great because we've hardly pulled it around anywhere. We've got plenty of tread. Well, that, that tire's too old. Chances are you're going to have a bad time on that trip because you'll be on the side of the road right. changing the tire. Which you don't want. Yeah, so you'll want to check all that stuff beforehand. And then, again, going all the way back to the beginning, tire pressure. That's the main thing. Just make sure correct pressure when you're running it. Now, if you buy and use the tire covers, which is going to keep the sunlight off, does that extend that time anymore? Or is that it just can. a good practice? It can. Um, because, they, you know, they give you three to five years. If you had a trailer that's parked a certain spot where it gets the sun on one side all the time yeah obviously those tires are going to wear out a lot faster than the other side so you'll still get that five-year range but what happens these there's oil in this rubber the way these tires are made eventually that starts breaking down mm -hmm. um, over time whether they're being used or not it starts to break down so it's losing its integrity just sitting there mm -hmm. that's why there's only a three to five year life on them basically right on the tire and that's kind of every tire that's made really that's not just trailer tires um, but yeah so you better be safe you know yeah. just go ahead and change them out so that you're not your trip's not going to get interrupted on something simple as a tire something extremely simple but yet really really important yeah well josh hey guys we're we were in a little awkward spot yeah there. thanks man i appreciate it yeah, as welcome. always guys if you have any more questions anything as you see i can hit josh with just about anything Leave a comment down below and we'll see you guys again next Tuesday.